What is up, everybody? It is one of those times where I wish I wasn't going out for a ride in these conditions. But again, I did this video or a video similar to this last year. And I just thought, considering the circumstances, that it would be a good idea to go out and make another one. So if you can't see it on the video, my bike is covered in ash. So I'm just gonna wipe it off really quickly. And then we're gonna head on over to my, um, my folks house because my dad has a air compressor and we're gonna spray out the, the, uh, the engine just because it's all up in there. I don't know if you can see that in the video either. But yeah, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, the bike is just covered with ash. And I mean, it, my bike is dusty too, but this is not, that is not what is covering this bike. And making it look so bad is the dust, but the ash. Okay. Let's adjust this camera a little bit being uncooperative because it's not showing me a preview. Turn off the brights. Alright, we're going to hit the road now. So, if you can't already tell on the video, it looks like it's cloudy or foggy or something, but we're in the middle of, uh, well, at the beginning of August, it's like 95 degrees outside in Northern California. We're way too far inland to have this kind of fog at this time of day, at this time of year. But again, we're gonna show you what is going on. And if you can't already tell just by looking at the video, you're gonna get a good idea here when we get out on the road of the effect that the wildfires all over California are having on the surrounding areas. Now, we had a wildfire go through and I actually posted a video of my ride around Lake Berryessa. Flashback. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at some smoldering uh, hillside over there, as well as that whole side of that hill there is, is black. Because that's where the, uh, the most recent fire that was closest to us was, was around the Lake Berryessa area. And you could see some blacked out hills, but the fires have just, just taken over California. And it has just been crazy. I mean, it's been raining ash for like a couple weeks now. Now, maybe I'm over exaggerating. It's been at least a week. It's been at least 10 days, let's put it that way, that we've just had ash raining down on us here. And this is just an after effect. It's made it difficult to go outside and, and like go running or walking because you're breathing this stuff in. Now, I've got my helmet on and I think I should be okay. But it's just, it's been miserable. And I can't even imagine the effect that this is having on the people who are directly affected by the actual fires. That scares me to death. And my sister's actually one of them because there's a fire burning north up by Reading and that's where she lives. Now, getting here a little bit on the open road so you can see just the visibility is pretty poor extending out on the horizon. I mean, usually here I could see a good uh, a couple miles down the road and uh, I mean, we can only see, I guess maybe a mile. I mean, just take a look. It just looks like it's foggy and hazy out here. And that's, it's, it's a completely clear day and not a cloud in the sky. And I wish I was out here recording like some happy and some good news because that's what I like to do. My channel is really what I like to do on my channel is just bring levity and bring uh, lightheartedness. I like to joke around a lot. But it's not really time to do that. 
when you think about what's going on all over the place in California, people losing their homes and and just uh, all of us in the surrounding areas who would like to be having a nice summer, going out to the park, throwing the frisbee around, man, go out and play 18 holes of golf, walk on the golf course, but it's just not a good idea right now. Uh, I mean, really, right now, looking out this way, I don't even know if you can see it, but you should be able to see the uh, the hills in the distance, and you can kind of get an outline, but it's not clear, and that just kind of gives you an idea of the impact. Now, we're going to get out here on the freeway and try and get up elevated a little bit, because I think the, the, uh, the visuals from being elevated are a little bit better than just uh, riding along the road but again this fight I would I wish I could say it was just one fire but there's like a dozen wildfires burning all over Cal California and, and mainly Northern California which is where I am so I mean that's where that's what you're seeing is the impact of these fires uh, now it's actually about 45 minutes ago it was a little bit worse than it is right now and it varies I mean you can go out in the morning and sometimes it'll be clear you can see the blue sky but the sky is not looking very blue right now uh, I mean the Sun looks bright in the sky I remember last year when I shot the video the Sun just, just looked like an orange dot in the sky basically you look right directly at it which I'm sure is not healthy to do but you know, it hits home when it happens so close, and I, I've said this on my channel before, you know, we should take into account the tragedy and the things that happened around us before they actually happen to us, because then maybe we'll move to action. But my wife was saying, like, if this isn't a sign of, like, global warming and, and the effect, because, I mean, wildfire season usually happens later in the summer, but because the summers have been hotter and drier, more and more, and earlier and earlier, we're getting the fires in the middle of summer makes it just hell on earth literally for the firefighters who are trying to fight it instead of it being like like uh, early fall weather they're fighting it in 95 to 100 degree temperatures which I mean obviously is more like I mean who knows what that what those temperatures are like when they're fighting the fire I'm guessing they're upwards of 120 to 150 degrees I have no idea but here we go, we're out here, we're gonna get elevated a little bit, you're gonna get a, a good look, a better look I should say. Hopefully this ride with the wind blowing on the bike is going to make it, uh, gonna blow some of that ash off of the engine so I don't have to hit it with an air compressor too much, but yeah, so once we get up here, you can kind of see just how smoky it is in the distances on the horizon uh, I mean I, if you go back and look at video maybe I can find some video of me riding the same ride and just take a look at the difference between this that you see out here and what you would usually see it's it's crazy uh, <laughs> I wish that I had more to say on this video uh, because really, what's coming up is my anniversary of my channel. Uh, I posted my first video on August 14th last year. And actually, I think I might have posted more than one video at once. Because I was so excited to get my channel going. And, you know, I was like, I finally put one video up. You know, it's, that's not really a channel. So I think I put like two or three up at once. And maybe had like five up by the end of the week. Uh, but that was when I was struggling to find things to talk about or to discuss. But again... When you've got stuff like this going on with these wildfires, either you don't have to think about what you're, just, you're trying to discuss. You just get out there and you take a look at, at what's actually happening. So we'll get up at, over here. We'll take a good look all the way around. Just try and give you guys a good idea. I think down south it actually looks a little bit better than it does up north, which is, I know there's a huge fire burning up north. But yeah, I mean, it's just, just terrible. And again, it's not like I'm putting my life out on the line out here, right, taking a ride so you guys can get a good look at the fire. But like, like I said, the fire right now, the closest one is probably, 
I don't know, like 100 miles away, maybe a little less than 100 miles away. But the effect, I mean, imagine, I can't, it's, again, this is just sounding like a broken record, but I can't even begin to fathom what the people, families of the people who are just so close. And my sister really, uh, the fire up in Redding where she is, uh, the fire was burning on the other side of a river and they were thinking, it was the Sacramento River actually, and they were thinking, oh, you know, the fire was not going to jump the river, so the people on the other side should be safe, and which is where my sister is. But it jumped the river, and that was like uh, probably four or five days ago, maybe maybe a week. And I mean, the last I checked, it was in the maybe low teens contained. I know that they're probably trying their hardest to keep the fire away from homes and businesses, as opposed to just trying to cut it off but I mean the more they let it burn the more it's gonna spread and it's just it's just madness it madness that's I wish I was a better way I could put it or I wish I could be more eloquent when I'm speaking about this but it's like <laughs> it's like straight out of a post-apocalyptic movie the way it looks out here right now and am I gonna be able to turn left here on my street yeah just barely so I'm about coming to the end of my stop here. This is probably going to end up posting at a time uh, that's kind of awkward. I've been posting at awkward times because I've had videos that I just wanted to get out in a timely manner because of things that are happening right now. And so this might post on a Saturday, might post tomorrow, but we'll see. It's Monday right now. Happy Monday. Uh, but there's just a lot of stuff going on and I've been wanting to get out and make some videos and this is what's going on right now so a gloomy day but hopefully uh, you guys can get something out of this video if you like this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up down there which is the like button and if you're so inclined hit the subscribe button which I'll pop up on the screen right now I'll also throw up some links so you can go straight to one of my other videos if you're in the mood guys if you're out there riding be safe and if you're not riding Get ready. This is that one guy. And I am out.